predators turn to bad. Alright guys, so we are live here to witness the match between TNT and Navi. So this is best of 3 series for the game guys. And I think this is the decision match. So whoever win this game, they will go on up to the upper bracket for the playoffs. So let's see who will win this game, TNT versus Navi. So this is now, so we are on the ban phase. Predators turn to bad. Okay, so here TNC will ban the Bounty Hunter first, and for the side of the Navi here, uh, they will ban the OD and the War Troll here for the second ban for Navi. The TNC will ban also Enigma. So now we are the third, so Navi here will ban the Oracle for their third ban. This is what like uh, about TNC guys, if you do it peaking or the draft and heroes. So I do like um, EU banning or taking as a captain for TNC Predator here. So this is what I've likes. And here for the side of the Navi, the captain will be a Misha. Alright, so let's see how Misha can do in draft picking. So now TNC here will ban the next assassin. Oracle also be banned, guys. Five seconds remaining. TNC Predators. Razor. All right, there you go. Navi first pick will be the Razor. All right, so um, I will go with Razor with Navi here. I think this is a good peak for Navi here picking this not a tanky hero but also producing uh, more physical damage for remaining. the game so um, yeah this is a good pick for Navi picking this Razor hero for their first pick of the game TNC Predators All right, so there you go. TNC will pick Bane, and I think this Bane guys will use by EU as a position five support. So let's wait now for TNC here. What will be their second pick? Dire team pick. Queen of pain. <laughs> okay, TNC will be take Queen of Pain here, and I. It can be Queen of Pain for Cuckoo or for Armel. So this second pick for TNC, it can be flexible, guys. It can play position three role, or it can be also at, at mid lane. So let's see, guys. What's the plan for TNC here, taking Five down this Navi lineup? So now Navi having time to think what will be the second. Alright, so Navi here will pick the Dark Seer. Oh, okay, that's a good pick. So, um, it's very unusual for TNC guys because usually if the more playing hero for Gavi, if, if it, it will not ban in the first uh, draft space, they will easily pick uh, the more playing hero for Gavi 
uh, they will easily go for first pick or second pick for more playing bet. Uh, I think TNC here having a good plan or have a different plan to take down this um, Navi lineup. So during go, TNC here will ban the Mendoza and the Doombringer for Natus Vince here. here. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. TNC Predators turn to pick. Dire team pick. Earth. Alright, the third will be third pick for TNC here. They will pick guys. The Earth Shaker. Could be an Earth Shaker Timps or Earth Shaker Cuckoo. So yeah, I'd like to pick all TNC here. Um, it's like it's very unpredictable. So Navi are Ten having a hard time, guys, to predict what is uh, TNC will going to or the strategy for TNC because the second pick and the third pick for TNC is very unpredictable. So your trigger here can be offlane or it can be used as a support. There you go. Natus Vince here, here, or then Alvi will pick a Shadow Shaman on their side. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Alright, and also TNC uh, securing ban on this Earth Spirit. And because all Navi guys having the heroes or the players capable of playing this Earth Spirit, so that's why they banned this um, Earth Spirit hero. But now the fourth pick for TNC here, the Bat Rider. Okay, so it seems that we can see now Bat Rider can be used. Oh, okay, so I I'm still confused about this TNC picking guys. Because. Alright, so Earth Shaker can. Be support a uh, bat rider for uh, for now for these days. This bat rider also can be used as a support. So uh, let's see, guys, which hero here that will play by Cuckoo. So um, yeah, TNT is still or consistent picking heroes that is flexible that can be transitioned in the lane. All right, so Navi here picking the hard carry, and that is the life stealer. remaining five seconds remaining okay so now for the last one for each team here so let's see uh, what will be the last one for a team scene also for navi here for this match by the way guys this is game one uh for the best of three series for this matchup so whoever win this game uh will be go up uh, for the upper bracket playoffs and if ever TNC will lose this one, guys, uh, they will go to the lower bracket. Uh, that will have a single elimination game. That will be tomorrow. So TNC here will ban all Jackarill. All right. It seems here, guys. Uh, okay, so for TNC here, uh, they're lacking a carry hero, the uh, Gabby hero here. And for TNC here, here guys, it seems as this here is very squishy now. So, Lifestealer here will, I guess, uh, Lifestealer here will having a dominating game for this because he can uh, take any for his four heroes of TNC here with this Lifestealer for now. So, uh, it is very scary for teams here, guys, picking this hero, but. Let's see. I guess on um, TNT here, what they need to do, they need to end the fight as soon as possible because uh, Navi here are having or capable of winning the game if this game will prolong or if this game will take one hour. 
So they need our teams here need to end this game soon as possible because it seems that they, they don't have a hero that can carry or that can uh, explode in the late game. But let's see what will be the last pick for team to here. While well, Navi here having a time to for the last man out on their side. So by the way guys, we are live now both in Twitch and also um, in YouTube. So I do have also a YouTube channel. So hi to all the viewers also from YouTube and here in Twitch. Alright, so Navi now banning the AMR. So that is a good ban for Navi, predicting that. Yep, that is the lacking here for TMZ, picking this um, AM or yep, anti mage hero for TNC. But I think that is uh, not the most pick for TNC picking this AM, guys. Um, okay, so let's see, Gabby is still. The troll is still open, guys, here. The troll warlord for. Of Gabby here and also the Terror Blade. Uh, let's see what will EU will uh, what will be the TNT last pick for this game. Five seconds remaining. Lycan. All right, there you go, guys. The Lycan for TNT last pick here. Oh, I think there's a that is a balanced pick for TNC, but it's still good for Navi here, guys, in terms of picking heroes here because these uh, they have uh, a most reliable hero, they have the magical damage, they have that good uh, ability to push um, tower here, they have the good setup, especially with the Dark here. So, uh, Navi here has an um, amazing draft for this game one. Uh, compared to TNC, but let's see guys. So now let's go and introduce uh, both teams here So now first a TNC in the side of TNC A will use the Bane here, Armel with the Quinn of Pain, Temps with the Air Shaker and Cuckoo with his Batrider guys So we'll just see how Cuckoo played this Batrider be being very aggressive for every fight and Gabby here used the Lycan and here um, Magical we use Razor, Blizzy with the Darks here, and two with the Shadow Shaman, Crystallize, Life Stealer here, and Misha with the Death Raptor. So let's see, guys, who will win this match. This is the game one for the best of three series Navi versus TNC. Alright, so there you go. Let me set up first on um, the camera here for... Alright, there you go. And the network status here. Okay. Alright, so it's look like EU here. Uh, let's see guys uh, which team here that will claim the first blood for uh, this game. So now I think EU here will go with Gabby here in the boat lane and Cuckoo uh, versus the Nikes. Oh, I think that Life Stealer is um, a good against Life Stealer because of his first kill uh, with his Nikes. So uh, it seems Cuckoo will cannot easily take down this Life Stealer guys to the top lane, I guess. With the rage um, ability or rage skills here, so I think Akuku will having a hard time or tough time taking down this or harassing this life stealer at the top lane. All right, so Cuckoo trying to spread the bounty rune at the top lane, but since Kurtzila is trying to protect this bounty rune and Cuckoo will not contest to steal the rune at the top lane for side of Navi here. So now Cuckoo will go back and two here of two bounty runes for TNT here and two bounty runes for Navi so it's a balance right now. So okay so let's see guys who will get the uh, first momentum build for this game. All 
Alright, two here with Blazy uh, at the boat lane. So I think it's all uh, for Navi here. They will have the laning strat 2 1 2. And for TNT here, they also have the 2 1 2 uh, laning strategy here for this game. So AU trying to rest 2 here. Okay, so AU versus 2 1 and 1 in the boat lane right now. Trying to uh, minus uh, HP for each hero. So. Okay, so Navi here, guys, I think um, Gabby here will have the top time in the bot lane, especially these uh, Blazy skills, guys, having the right harassment. The bot lane is, uh, as you can see now, Blazy trying to harass the two heroes from TNT here in the bot lane. Let's shake things up. Alright, so all the teams here in Cuckoo will uh, tandem at the top lane, and EU now running low HP. A two here, trying to chase EU here, let's see. Okay, so it seems that E will be safe for now. And Gabby ignoring the harassment of two there. He's trying to get his farm first before he can join any fight. So this is the problem for TNC guys, because this Lycans need to have time, need to have space to get his core items to be online. Um, like I said, I will go for Navi picking here. Uh, yeah, I will favor for a Navi uh, draft here. So having the harassment, having the good push ability. And also TNT are picking the uh, pushing ability, which is the Lycan. So let's see guys how this uh, Gavi Lycan, uh, w which the item choice, in terms of the item choice for this game. So, okay, okay you're running low now. So these two heroes of Navi here in the boat lane doing good job harassing these two heroes of Navi here in the, the boat lane as well. Okay, so you go good there, getting the creep waves to the top lane. But Crystal has been there to protect, but there you go, the Firefly of Kuku trying to harass Crystal Eyes. So this is what I've said, guys. Kuku will having a hard time to harass this Crystal Eyes, and Kuku will be trapped, guys. So now Kuku will be safe, right? Crystal Eyes trying to back. And still Kuku trying to chase Crystal Eyes at the top lane, but it seems not enough to take down this Crystal at the top lane, guys. And now Kuku will go back, needs to fall back, and Misha here is only at the top lane to support this Crystal Eyes carry here at the top lane. Alright, so for now, Nabi will take the 1k gold advantage, and in terms of gold, now Gabby will lead our at the top in terms of network for this game. Alright, seems that Gugu will be caught at the bot lane, guys, and there he goes. He's trying to catch Crystalize here, but he end up dead at the top lane. So first spot will be committed for Navi, and Gugu will be the first hero that will fall down inside of TNC. It's a nice kill there. I think uh, that kill will be caught by... I'll take by... Alright, so Misha will take down Cuckoo the top lane. Punishing Cuckoo for his aggressiveness. Eo here, having a hard time dealing with this Darkseer hero Blizzy, guys. But uh, Gavi still managed to top to claim or to claim the top spot in terms of for this game. Let's see how Gabby, uh, because the important for Gabby here playing this like and guys, he need to have a good item choice for this to to have an explode, to have an impact for this game. Because, let, let's see how, how Gabby can manage his item choice here. Okay, so Gabby thinks Gabby will take, uh, will Build first the Necro here, but our Mel QP here versus uh, the Razor, the Magical here in the, uh, the mid lane. Um, I don't think if our Mel will dominate this lane because of this Razor, guys. I think the Razor will build also the Holy Defiance, the, the defense from magical damage uh, against the QP in at mid lane. So um, I, I, I think um, Razor here in the mid lane easily handled this um, Queen of Pain of our Mel here at mid lane. So. Uh, this is a very like scary uh, landing strat for team see here how they can deal because it seems that navi all the lanes for navi they are winning for in terms of harassment uh, look at armel here he's trying to, to blink out wait for this razor he can take damage or he can take da the physical damage even though that he applied the magical damage for razor but still yeah he is afraid to dive in for razor kill so there you go a securing let's see if there's a backup so it seems he will take the boundary in but misha here will be the situation at the top of the lane here he will be in danger and got the blade facing field here he will trying to run but there's a hold up two here it seems that he will slowly fall down at the ball lane here and you one but there's the rotation of razor and take down EU. 
It's a nice addition for Magical here. This is a good. All right. Oh, let me miss it, Miss Prince first. Okay, one moment here. Alright, so now we now having two kills for this game. Alright, so back to the ball game here. So now we will claim the two first kill for uh, this game. So Team C having less than one kill advantage right now in terms of network. So Misha here doing a good job uh, rotating. Uh, in every lane, a bot lane and top lane, saving lives, taking the kills. Alright, Blaze here running low, Gavi trying to chase. With the two wolves beside him. So this is a good part for TNT here. Uh, Gavi managed still um, committing or having a good farm, so... Um, it seems that um, TNT here will not, like, very far behind, but Gugu, I guess Gugu will be captured in the top and three here for the side of the Abbey here, but Gugu will tip in the face of Razor. No cancelling of TP there, nice TP for Gugu there. Playing to be aggressive, but there you go three here, so Navi here trying to catch this Blazy in the bot lane. There's a son, the Fisher of Teams, to stop Blazy from running, but this Teams of Blazy will be trapped in the tree line, and now TMC Gabby will punish that Blazy guys in the bot lane. Nice kill for TMC there, taking down. The position three heroes of Navi at the bot lane, so now three heroes of the DMC here trying to take down the first star at the bot lane. Alright, so it seems that still DMC here is on the game. So 1 2 will be the score in favor of Navi. But it seems that TNT here having the advantage in pushing in uh, tower here. So, A with the sleep, two heroes versus one here, so oh, there you go, the second skill of the team here will be connected, and there's a Fisher of Teams. Alright, alright, it seems that Misha will be safe for now, but there's a Wolf taking down the Disruptor, nice rotation for Gabi, commanding his Wolf to kill the Disruptor at the boat lane, but Armel now trying, or, let's see, Armel is in the top three. In terms of network for this game and the second spat will claim the lap still here. So a uh, good news for um hero uh, good news for team to here. Uh, they have the two core heroes will claim uh, the top three. Uh, at the top three of the terms of the magical armel using the haste. There you go, the rotation of Guga trying to take down Misha here. And there you go the stand of a perfect stand of teams here. Trying to stop the Misha Ryan and there you go. Armel will kill that Misha at the mid lane. So nice rotation for teams here, picking the kills. So Navi will not respond. They don't have any response, guys, for their support. I think they, their support don't have any TP yet. There you go, Blaze. He's trying to get the creep waves to the boat lane. Alright, also, AU again, the rotation into the boat lane. There you go, the sleep. And to set up a stun of teams here. Teams still have the Fisher noise. And there you go, the lasso. And the Firefly with his ass. And now there you go, AZ kill. For the TNC heroes there, a nice rotation for TNC showing now the aggressiveness, showing now that they have or they can fight for this lineup of Navi. So this is a good position for TNC. So this is what like uh, what I like about TNT here, showing the aggressiveness at the early state of the game. There you go, Blink and Armel nice feature with a shadow strike, magical running low here, and all right, there you go. One here with Navi will fall down, guys, and then up to mid lane. All right, so there we go. Teams of TNC having a good fight this early state of the game, taking down the important heroes of Navi here. So Navi must be careful here, guys. So this is this is what I've said a while ago. TNC here need to finish the game, or TNC um, need to take down Navi as soon as possible because uh, if this game will take um, so long, so Navi will have the advantage to win this game. Alright, three heroes of Navi here trying to take down EU. EU will be spat with the three heroes. There you go, Gabi with the rotation in the boat lane here. And Gabi already have his ultimate skills right now, trying to push Misha, and Misha will fall, still fall down at the boat lane here. So Gabi will have the killing spree 
or this game so let's check the item for gabby here guys so gabby will uh buy first the helm of dominator and how about um armel here so yep armel will build i think this is yeah the orchid i think this is a good matchup against this uh navi lineup here navi heroes not good enough for but there we go the stand of teams perfect with black for a two there and Google trying to right click two here there we go teams there's a stun and there's the lasso of the takedown is two at the top lane so three heroes for TNC guys retreating off the top lane and taking down that Rasta at the top lane now Armel will spat Blizzy here all right and seems Armel will not continue the chase knowing that Navi possibly or the rest of the team of Navi will TP back on the Bolt lane, Cuckoo here. Spatting Chrysalis and Tap lane. So three here. So team here is the Tap lane right now. Trying to back up Cuckoo if there's any. Or Navi will commit the war at the Tap lane. But now Cuckoo will TP back the base for safety here. But Gabby still maintaining. In terms of network here. So still Gabby have the advantage. So now for uh, the score for this game, it seems that TNC turned around the game. They have now the advantage in terms of kills, 7-2, and in terms of gold as well, they have 4k gold advantage. So Gook Eater, it's a nice stun. Blazy will go back. Yep, all right, Blazy running low. There you go, the glimpse back. Nice rotation for Misha there, protecting the Blazy hero for that aggressive Cuckoo Bat Rider. Oh, this is a good spot for Cuckoo taking that rhythm regeneration ring. At the reverse, so Armel now transitioning the top, trying to take down the top tower for the side of Navi here. Let's check also, guys, the item here. So, all right, so Life Silver here managed to buy the Hunt of Mantis here to help his farm to, yeah, to double his farm as soon as he can. All right, let me see. Also, Razor here, guys. So, as usual, Razor here will build the Red of Atlas for this game. Radiance bottom tower is under All right, Crystalize must be careful here, but Google don't have in any dagger yet to catch us Crystalize. So this is a uh, nice rotation for team to here, showing the aggress right aggressiveness for um, every fight. So now two heroes of team T here, guys, trying to. Uh, Take down the second tower for Navi. Okay, so this is what TNC needs to do. Taking down towers, pushing towers as soon as possible. So they need to... Alright, oh, okay, nice clamps back for Misha there. So now four heroes of Navi here will be in danger. This is a bad position for Navi heroes. There's a sign of teams here calling the Disruptor Misha here. And I'm trying to right-click Misha. At the bot lane, and now Misha will fall down first. The result of Navi and the rest of the team of Navi will fall back, guys. And two heroes of TNC here has been already at the top lane. And there we go, the last. So nice rotation for Kuku there. All right, there's the Infest. It's a nice response for Crystalize here. So. Kuku has a very uh, good mindset, guys. After. Uh, he only know that Navi here is only at the boat lane, but he would, uh, yep, he quickly transition and TP at the top lane, knowing that uh, the life steer is only been there with yeah with Gabi. So that nice trade for TNT there. That is a nice rotation for TNT. Uh, quickly transition at the top lane. Now TNC having five kill advantage for this game, and in terms of all, in terms of kill as well, they have the advantage A2 in favor of T and C. All right, so Gabby now they have the level two necro here, so uh, it, it can help Gabby as well to take down as many towers as he wants. But Crystalline is here trying to be aggressive enough. At the top lane, there we got the rage, but there's a slip of EU here committing my nice glimpse back for this Raptor here, canceling the SS of that Bane, but there you go. 
Five here, so Nabi here trying to fall back, knowing that that is a bad area or the bad place in the map taking the fight. So the score is still 8 2. Uh, I'll be back, guys. I'll, I'll take um, a quick break. Just give me one moment here. I need to go to comfort room. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Alright guys, it seems that there are violent uh, happening in the mid lane right now. So one here of Nabi's Razor will fall down first. And now nice blink for Amel here. Activating a third skill. Three here for Nabi, he will fall down. And then there's Alasso of Cuckoo here. Coating the two heroes and there's the Sonic way. But the vacuum is not enough to save. That is a completely wipe out for TNC here. Punishing the five heroes of Navi and taking down the life of Navi heroes, guys. What a performance for TNC. Oh, that is a very unusual, guys. That GG has been called. That is an easy win for TNC. What I do, I, what I have missed for this fight. This is a very easy for TNC to take down or to win this game. So stay tuned, guys. There will be there will be a game two for this match. Yeah, let's that just stay tuned. All right, I, I didn't expect Navi guys. We are called the DGS as like that. That is a very easy game for TNC. Uh, yeah, good game for TNC. Congratulations to TNC here, um, winning the first game for this best of three matchup. So, um, yeah, I do admit that I am in favor of Navi picking, but it seems TNC guys um, showing their good performance for this game one. But let's see how Navi can. Uh, fight back in game two. So let's wait, guys, for the game two. Navi versus TNC here. So 
I'll be take a short break and with the background
me back. DMC Predators turn to back. All right, guys. So we are live again. The game two for TNC versus Navi here. So TNC will take the first win for game one. So now let's see how Navi can fight back or take the revenge for this game two. By the way, this is only best of three series. So whoever win this match, guys, will advance the upper bracket for the playoffs tomorrow. So let's see if TNC can manage to win or clean win with 2-0 so let's see now so first for Navi here they will ban the OD and the Troll Warlord here and for the side of TNC they will ban as well the uh, Bounty Hunter and the Enigma here so this is the match between the Pride of Philippines and the Pride of Ukraine here so TNC already take the first win for this fight uh, I can say that uh, TNT have that is an easy game for TNT finishing the game. Uh, I think that is um, 20 minutes only. The the uh, Navi already called a GG, so that is a very dominating game for TNT. Therefore, uh, the game one. But let's see. So Navi here will pick the Earth Spirit for their first pick for Navi. So let's see also what will be the first pick. For for TNC Predator here. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Alright, so TNC having time now to tank what will be the first hero that they will going to pick here. So by the guys, for all the viewers, I am live both in Twitch and also in YouTube guys. So uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow my Twitch channel. And thank you for watching. But there we go, TNC will pick the Earthshaker here. So teams with the Earth Shaker uh, for game one having a dominating game. So I we cannot deny that the teams have uh, teams using this um, Earth Shaker having a, a good job uh, maintaining his also uh, trying to get a right position when to uh, activate his Echo Slam at the right time at the right position. But there you go, TNC guys will take the Razor. So the, for the first game, um, Navi used the Razor, but now it seems that TNC will show uh, to Navi how to use this Razor here. Also, the second for, for TNC here will be the Razor. So this Razor, guys, uh, we already see that our male can use Razor at mid lane. So uh, the same, the same style for TNC here. Uh, they are having flexible peaks, flexible hero that can be transitioned at any lane. So this is a good. So, this is a very tough time for Navi to predict uh, what is the strategy for TNC, what is the laning strat that TNC will do here for this game for Radiant this game too. So there you go guys. Still Navi here picking the dark seer. Uh, like uh, the game one bad okay. So TNC here banning here the next assassin and the Queen of Pain. And for the side of Navi ban here Oracle and also the Doom Bringer. So uh, this is uh, I think this is a good ban for Navi here. Uh, banning the good hero for TNC. So they're trying to um, avoid the hero for TNC or picking the hero or the, the favorite hero for TNC here. So they're trying to um, anti or they're trying to repel this whole TNC lineup by banning their favorite heroes or banning their strongest, uh, strongest heroes uh, in this fight. But let's see guys, it seems that TNC here having a good plan or yeah, how to take the fight or how what hero that will be uh, that they will going to pick here. So okay, so Navi here will ban the more playing hero of Gabi. So that is a safe or good ban for Navi. Uh, avoiding this more playing to be uh, picked by TNC team here for this game to line up or game to match up. Uh, 
NC Predators turn to pick. Alright, so there you go. TNC will still pick the butt rider of Kuku here. So I, I think this is a good pick for uh, TNC, especially um, how Kuku played his heroes, showing that enough harassment. Or yeah, even though that uh, in the first game, even though that he um, lane against the life still, but he still managed to win the the lane at the mid lane. So good job for Kuku there, maintaining the harassment, repealing or denying that life stealer at the mid lane. So this is uh, Kuku having a good job for uh, the game one, uh, especially also guys Gabi maintaining the uh, in terms of network of the game he is at the top spot or uh, top one in terms of the network. So both heroes or both players or each player of TMC uh, doing a good job for the first game. So that's why they take the easy win for that game, guys. So let's see Navi here El will have the time to decide who will be the third heroes that they will pick on their side. TNC Predators turn your side. Okay, this is a very scary picking for Navi here, guys. Speaking this Medusa, so I think uh, I, what I can advise here for TNC lineup, guys, they need to pick uh, like an early hero, uh, a hero that can online an early state of the game because this Medusa guys need need space, need time to get his core items to be online. So TNC here need to also uh, like the game one. They need to end the game as soon as possible. Like the game one that what the what they have did um, uh, in game one. So this is a very good um, or good situation for TNC because uh, at the early state of the game they have uh, the harassment, they have the aggressiveness, they have the urge, or yeah, they have the ability to finish the game as soon as possible. So this is TNC, or this is how uh, TNC what can do. For, for this match. So Navi here relying for this Medusa guys. This is very scary for TNT once this game guys will prolong or once this game will take so long. So Navi will take also the advantage. But let's see. I like the game one guys. Um, I predict that Navi have a good pick but still TNT managed to end the game uh, as soon as possible as they can. So that's why they have the easy win for uh, the game one. So they're good for the fourth pick of TNT here. They will pick the Dazzle hero here. And this he yep, hero now, the oh, Dazzle nowadays, guys, it can play at mid lane or it can play uh, support as well. So, still TNC here, it's very unpredictable or, yeah, it's very hard with uh, Navi here to predict the picking or the draft, dropping of heroes for TNC here. Picking um, the hero or the, the hero that's very flexible. So, Navi here having or trying, maybe trying to find or trying to find out. What is the plan for TNC hero here or TNC team here in terms of landing stage? So, but little girl Navi here having a time for the fourth pick for their side. TNC Predators, Weaver. Oh, I okay. This is a good pick for Navi guys picking the Weaver. So, uh, TNC lineup here need to catch need a hero that can catch this Weaver. This is uh, we already know because of this um, skills of Weaver guys. This is a very hard hero to catch. So I think Earthshaker is not enough. Maybe they need uh, like Void Hero or yeah. But there you go. Jackero will be banned for TMT here. And let's wait what will be the last hero for Navi that they're going to ban here. Alright, so Navi now have the time to pick their last hero. So let's see what Navi guys, what 
What is the hero that D will... Okay, I think Navi here need... Uh, they already have... This Weaver guys can play as a carry hero or a position 3 hero. An off at, uh, offline hero. So I think this Medusa will play at mid lane. So I think they need... Uh, I guess they, uh, Navi here need to pick a tanky hero or position 3 hero. Because this Weaver guys can play... Uh, as a carry so let's see but um weaver now we can't rely for weaver as a carry because uh we already know that this weaver is very like a soft hero or squishy hero so it, it can be easily uh fall down it can be slow take down by a tnc lineup here Oh, this is a surprise uh, pick for Navi here, picking the Vincel Sphere, and I think this Vincel Sphere will play at offline, and they will take the Waver guys as a carry hero for Navi here. So TNC uh, for TNC here, so they are lack or okay, so they need the uh, hero of Gabby here that can carry the game. Ten seconds remaining. All right, there you go, guys. TNC. That is a nice pick for TNC picking the anti mage for carry role here. So let's go and introduce now uh, its team here and the heroes that they were going to play. So two here will use the Earth Spirit and Blizzy with same hero, the Dark Seer. Magical will use the Medusa at mid lane. Crystallize will take the position one carry here with the Weaver hero and. Misha will take, uh, okay, so this Vengeful Spirit will take the support, guys, so Vengeful Spirit will play support, and Blizzy with uh, the position 3 here with the Dark Star here. So TNT, guys, the first side of TNT here, the uh, teams were played Earthshaker, Armel with Razor here at the mid lane, and Cuckoo uh, uh, using the Bat Rider as an off laner here, and EU with a Dazzle, and Gabi here with the anti mage so this is very exciting pick for tnc here especially up uh, this is very unusual pick for tnc picking this um am carry hero so i'm very excited to see uh gabby performance here playing this um anti mage hero for this game so all right so the same guys so uh, tnc now having um a good heroes that can contest um for long game so yeah so i think this tnc i for this game too i i will go in, in favor of TNT winning this game because they have uh, the right balance for the game uh, having an early heroes having um, a long game hero as well where this uh, Gabby AM so yep this is a good pickup for or good pick for TNT here so let's see uh, let me go ahead first and set up here so I'll set that to network and also the camera here I will use this one I sense all right so it seems there's a pause happening us. right now Okay, so there's a technical issue on the side of TNC here. This is gonna sting. sting. Alright guys, so by the way, this is the game 2 literally for, uh, for all the viewers, this is the game 2, TNC versus Navi. And TNC all they claim the first win for the game 1, and let's see if Navi will still have this fight, if they can uh, take a revenge or fight back for uh, the game 2. Here, so, okay, TNC. There we go. Right, so okay, so it seems that TNC here will use the 2 1 2 landing strategy here. The Gabby with the EU at the top lane, and I think also Navi will uh, use the 2 1 2 position uh, in landing strategy here for this game. So, so this Gabby AM guys need to have a space for this game, need to have patience, need to have the right time or when to commit the clash, when to commit the kill here. They need to protect this. Of Gabby hero using this AM because this is a very important factor in the late game for uh, for the side of TNC. But here for Inavi as well, guys, they need to protect this Medusa. They need uh, give this Medusa enough farm, enough time, enough space. So they need to yeah, they need to create space for Medusa as well. But as you can see, 
um, TNC purposely or have a purpose picking this Gabby heroes for Medusa or against this Medusa at the late game. So this is a good pick for TNC here picking this um, AM. But there you go, AM. So Gabby here will secure the tap down to ruin for Navi. So TNC will get three bound to ruins, guys, and also Navi only get one. Uh, Bounty. So this is a good advantage for this is a good start for Navi for TNC here. But there you go, the roll of two by uh, as a lead blink out for Gabby here in the top lane, securing and running out or blinking out for safety for his life. So EU will go with Gabby. So this is a good support for uh, Gabby with a dazzle here in the top lane. But there you go, Armel versus Magical here at the mid lane. There's the roll and AU here running low HP versus the stand of Misha here, but no, HUD will not commit that kill at the top lane. But three heroes, guys, against the two heroes of TNC here. So do you, so Navi here planning to take down or planning to repel this AM um, hero of Gabi because this is very scary for the side of Navi, guys. Because once this Gabi heroes at the top lane will go online, this is very painful for Navi in long game. But there you go, Cuckoo, nice stand for Thames there. Catching this curse alive, but now there's a Tsukushi to, to, uh, to walk away from that fight. So I think TNC here at the top lane, guys, they will have a top time. Or uh, yeah, they're, they will have in trouble. Because three heroes of Navi here will go at the top lane. So this is a good uh, strategy for Navi, guys. They need to repel, they need to uh, delay the itemization of AMR or Gabi hero here at the top lane. Because... That's what they need to do to stop that Gabi uh, itemization. But there you go, Cuckoo guys trying to harass here. Crystallize in the boat lane. And Crystallize will force to use his 2 QC to run away from that engagement for Cuckoo here. So Cuckoo having good time here harassing the uh, boat tower here. And Blaze here capping the creep waves getting enough farm in the top lane. But still, Gabi here, if you see, Gabi will be in the top in the network in this game. So AU trying to face the two heroes. There's a roll will be connected to EU here. So EU will need to be careful. There's a burst two trying to chase still EU here at the top lane, but now they will not continue the chase, knowing that the tower already protected EU at the top lane here. But here Misha and Cuckoo will be oh, okay. So Cuckoo will solo guys at the boat lane so okay there's a stand of Misha let's see if that's enough to take down Cuckoo here but there's a firefly used by Cuckoo and alright so nice okay but still Cuckoo will take down Misha here to the boat lane but Cuckoo guys will also fall down at the boat lane so now 1-1 one, one is the score this is an even score but Gabby guys ignoring the fight for now he's trying to get his farm he's trying to get his gold in order to buy the core items in order to go online and to engage so let's see guys um this is a good news for TNT here uh if Gabby get online if Gabby get his core items for this game so this is a good uh advantage for TNT here as well as, as also Armel here maybe uh, Armel also having a good time farming at the mid lane and Medusa is in the fifth place in terms of network right now so it seems that um the um, mid here mid lane for TNT is uh, Armel winning here at the mid lane Let's see you guys, but now... Okay, AO here. Having a good time repelling these two heroes of Navi, harassing him at the tap lanes. And now two heroes of Navi will fall back, guys, with the creep waves. Alright, Mesha here and Teams will spat each other, but Teams is ignoring Mesha here. There we go, the roll, so two will back here right now. Gavi maintaining his farm here in the top two in terms of ter uh, in terms of network for this game. So AU having a good job protecting this Gabi in. But there's a sign of Misha here standing the stems. Stems need to go back for now. Regeneration. Alright, there you go. Cuckoo spatting Misha at the boat lane. So there is no rotation yet um, happening right now for its support or for the support for both teams right now. So yeah, like we said, teams here need to predict this. Gabby here, guys, this is the big factor for uh, this game. This is the winning um, heroes for teams here, and they need also guys uh, to 
uh, repel that Medusa at mid lane, but I think uh, Armel can is or s sustain or manage to uh, shut down that Medusa at top and using the Razor Hero. But there you go, so heroes of team C and two heroes of Navi here trying to steal the ruins in the bot lane. Google running low, running low HP, the cursor is still chase. And at the top lane as well, Eel running, running low HP right now. And it seems Google will fall down at the bot lane here. Eel will pop the Salvi here. So good kill for Navi here, taking down the core hero Cuckoo. So now EU still managing, engaging for two here. One on one, two versus AU here, and EU running low HP and trying to go back. So there's a shrine here, and Armel will be the rotation at the top lane here. Alright, so this is um, for TNT, I think, guys. This is uh, what uh, I didn't like for TNC here, not showing aggressiveness for the early fight because if TNC, usually guys, if TNC will not show aggressiveness or yeah, aggressiveness in the early state of the game, they usually lose the game. So this is uh, a scary moment for TNC here, not showing aggressiveness. But there you go, there's a roll, there's a throw of stone here and EU will fall down into that plane. Nice kill for Blazy there, taking, the, taking down that EU tap lane. Now Gabi still ignoring the fight guys. Gabi knows that he needs a farm, he needs a time before he can join any fight for this uh, for this game. So this is a good patient for Gabi. Ignoring first or ignoring uh, ignoring the the fight, yeah, not picking the fight. But there you go, the stun. And it seems things will be catch guys at the bot lane, but not enough to throw his stun and he will fall down. Uh, there you go. Cuckoo with the rotation in the mid lane. There you go. Armel. Sucking the damage of Magical at the top lane, but there you go Misha. Late rotation at the mid lane, and it seems Misha here will fall down as well. So two heroes of Nabi here will be dead at the mid lane, and EU here will be in danger of top lane, guys. Two still chasing EU here, and Blazy with the Iron Shield here, but there you go mid Gabi here with the rotation, and Blaze here not enough mana, guys, to use his Torbo here. Nice kill for TNC Gabi securing the kill, are taking down that Blazy at the meta top lane. So now TNT having a fight back here. The score in terms of kill will be 4-4. Four to four. And TNT here less than 1k gold advantage for this game. Alright, so it seems that all the Weaver of Navi here guys catching up to Gabby here claiming the top spot in terms of network for this game so Gabby having 3,800 gold for this game having good farm Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. so TNC guys TNC need to um to be consistent guys to be our harassing this lineup of Navi okay the the um I think it is, it is not enough for teams here relying for this uh, Gabby heroes to be online uh, in long game. So they need also to do the work, to do the uh, harassment in this. But teams will be caught here. There's a standard mission here. It seems the teams overcommitted at the jungle of Nabi here. Let's see if teams running low HP, but there's a magic stick saving his life. So teams will be safe for now. And there you go. All right, there's a cast, but no. There's the SS of Crystallize. They're going back to safety. And Cuckoo now will be in danger there's a uh, misha here rotating at the boat lane guys and cuckoo running low and now cuckoo will be dead in the hands of misha at the boat lane so nice rotation for uh, misha here helping that weaver at the boat lane so there we go teams will be spotted as well at the jungle side of the map there's a stun but not enough guys there's magical here rotating helping to here taking down this team's hero in the jungle it seems teams here will be running low hp and teams Will be dead guys in the hands of Medusa or Magical here hey, but Lazy here over committing and the top jungle of TNC and also one here of Navi here will fall down. There you go guys, one hero, so Armel needs to be careful, two heroes 
or three, four heroes of Navi here is already at the mid lane, but no casualty yet happening. But there you go, Kyoko Tradition and two will fold at first for the side of Navi. Nice rotation or nice response for TNT. They're helping Armel at the mid lane. So they already know that the heroes or the four heroes of Navi already ganking at the mid lane. So nice response for TNT. They're catching. Bottom tower. That Ember Spirit at the mid lane. There we go. Cuckoo will spat Misha, but Cuckoo will not knock Crystalize. It will be been there. Cuckoo will be in chase. Two heroes of Nabi here trying to take down Cuckoo, and Cuckoo running low. HP right now. And Cuckoo, I think, will be safe for now. Nice stand for Tim's here. Saving Cuckoo, but Cuckoo will go back for. To be okay, there we go. Salvi, nice side step in the tree line. Cuckoo's trying to manage, but no, there's the role of Jude hitting Cuckoo, guys. And now Crystallize will kill and take down the Cuckoo hero at the boat lane. So nice kill, nice follow up for two there, hitting his um, rolling skills for Cuckoo. Alright, so good news for teams here still. Gabby still maintaining the farm. So let's check guys the itemization of Gabby here. So Gabby now trying to build the Battle Fury. Okay, so yep. He will soon uh yep. Sooner or later he will get that Battle Fury item. Let's see also guys Razor. So Razor here, our male will take the root of Atlas. And how about Medusa here, guys? So still Medusa having a hard time, guys, catching up for the farm. But uh, it seems that he's trying his best to get his core items for this uh, for this game. But there you go. It seems that one hero. Oh, uh, all right, nice blink. And for Gabby, there it seems that Gabby will save for now. So that is a good uh, blink out for Gabby, walking away from that fight. So Gabby need to be careful not to be shut down for this game. So Gabby having one kill right now and zero death. So let's see the itemization as well for Weaver here or Crystallize. So Crystallize planning to build here the Diffusel Blade for this game. So which, which is a good item choice for him. But there you go. TNT here is trying to get on the mid lane. But Cuckoo will be spat with the tower here. Using the invincibility with Crystallize trying to respond to the mid lane here. Let's see if he can see Cuckoo if there's a detection wards here. So the score for this game 7 6 in favor of Navi and TNC in terms of network. Uh, they have the less than 1k gold advantage for this game. Gabby here spatting Blazy. Right click. Mana born for Gabby, but not enough. Blazy, it seems very. Blazy very have a far. Or a very fast Blazy here. So let's see, guys. So Gabby now still maintaining the farm. There's the wall. Where's the vacuum? Okay, nice wall for Blazy here. Trying to get the mana of Gabby the top lane. All right. So Gabby, there's a there's a silence. Nice silence for two there, taking down. So three heroes need to rotate, guys, at the top lane to take down that Gabby hero. But it seems that. Uh, the rest of the, the heroes of TNT are having enough space to farm at the bot lane and also at the mid lane as well. So, but still, nice rotation for Nabi taking down or punishing that of uh, Gabby hero guys at the top lane. So it looks like um, the support of TNT uh, did not place a ward on that side of the map. So that is very scary for. Um, okay, so Kuku, let's see Kuku have have dagger now. So Kuku still have or still don't have the dagger for this game. So. Dyer's top is under attack. So for this matchup, guys, only Gab or only Cuckoo have the ability to catch this Weaver for this game. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Alright, so Armel here trying to take down, but Dems already been there. Now we need to be careful here. Three heroes of TNC all be there at the boat lane trying to take down the boat tower, the first tower here at the boat lane. So Chris Les already responds at the boat lane trying to protect the first tower here. But now TNC three heroes decide to fall back knowing that the, the rest of the heroes will now be trying to back up that boat tower here.
Alright, there you go. Misha will be caught, guys. A nice kill for Teens here, taking down the Misha, but now Tim's here. Nice follow up for EU here, committing the shallow gray. But there you go. It seems Teams will survive for that fight, and the Magnetize will kill Teams, guys. Nice Magnetize for two there, punishing the Teams hero at the boat lane. So two heroes of Nabi will fall down, while for the side of Teens, the only one hero will be dead. Now the score will be 9-8 in favor of now B. So by the way guys, for the viewers, this is the game too. If TNC will win this game too guys, this is a game over for now B. So um, TNC will go and uh, advance for the upper bracket playoff for this um, Mumbai uh, major tournament. Okay, so this is a good farm for Gabi here. If he will take, let's see if Gabi already have the battle fury for this game. Yep, good news for TNC here. Gabi having battle fear right now so it can help his uh, farming a little bit and sooner or later he will get the uh, other core items that he needs to sustain the fight or to produce enough damage to pre produce pure damage for this navi line up here but crystallize let's see crystallize guys so crystallize also having this diesel blade now and there we go rolling boulder but it will miss guys there we go the sun the wall and the vacuum it seems the vacuum is not enough but there we go armel guys with the rotation backing up google but it's too late but still the one here our air spirit will fall down guys at the top lane nice time for armel here or for tims taking down the two heroes so two for two will be the trade support for support guys oh no off lane support off lane support for the side but there's a swap guys and armel will be in danger here crystallized right to red but there's the echo spam for teams here take down the two here but there you go the ss of crystallizing but not enough to save his life but the illusion of vengeful spirit here trying to chase armel let's see about that okay so armel will be safe for now so nice timing for the echo slam of teams they're taking down the two heroes of navi at the top lane So now the score will be 11-12 in favor of TNC, but in terms of network as well, TNC having an advantage right now, 1k golden advantage. So this is a good situation for TNC. But the good news, uh, another good news for TNC here. Still, Gavi will claim the top one spot in terms of network. So Gavi here, where here is the richest hero compared to other uh, players right now. So this is a good situation for TNC. They need to. Alright, this is Smoke and Blaze here. Need to be careful, but Crystallize here already been there, knowing that two heroes of the TNC trying to kill. But there are three heroes versus three heroes. So EU will fall. I think EU guys slowly fall down the house of Crystallize here. So this is a bad decision for TNC. TNC needs to be back, but there's a ton of Misha here, and teams already taping back for safety here, knowing that they cannot contest that fight. So now two heroes of TNC will fall down at the top lane. So that is a completely win for Nabi for that engagement, guys. Alright, there's a silence. Oh, Gabi need to be careful here and the rolling board will be hit. And there's you go, Gabi blink out. And he will be safe for now, but Gabi still having low HP. Okay, so that's very unfortunate for him waiting for the rune. But the rune did not come out for the side for the side of the map or in the side of the map. But there you go. A is spotting Misha there. Tims, let's see if he will spot the okay, So support of the teams here need to be careful. Crystallize here. Trying to take down, but now Razor or the Dazzle guys don't have enough time. To activate his shallow grave, saving his life for uh, for that engagement, for a nice pick up or a nice rotation for Navi there. So this is Blackwood City, guys. TNC. This is what um, the scary moment for TNC, guys. If they will not show, if they're not showing the aggressiveness at this early um, early state of the game, it seems that they are okay. All right, there you go. But teams here, landing low, crystallized right to right click, and nice. Kill for Crystallize here, and also here, one hero, Blazy will be caught, guys. Nice sort of last of Armel here, and Armel forced to TP back, knowing that he cannot take the damage, but now two here will hit the rolling board, and now Crystallize here will get the double kill. Alright, so now TNC. 
you know, Navi getting uh, good kills for a good uh, having or picking up a good kills for the side of DNC. So this is a very scary situation for DNC guys because it seems that um this Medusa here picking up. Oh, this is a very unusual for Medusa guys picking this uh, SY um, item. And now he will try and he will the next item for Medusa here will be the Batterflies. This is very scary. So Gabby here need to build also the MKB as well if he want to contest this Medusa uh, in one on one matchup. But let's see now. So Navi here keep rotating, guys. The four heroes of Navi here. So this is uh, Navi need to do. They need to create a space for Medusa so that Medusa guys can get his farm, can get his um core items. So TNC need to figure figure this out. They, they need to. Um, make a plan how to repel this a uh, navi strategy guys they need to know they need to figure uh, this plan of navi here they are trying to create space for this medusa but medusa now guys trying but okay so tnc here trying to take in the first tower the, uh, the mid lane and our male will take down the first tower the mid lane i think the uh, mid lane okay so still the top tower here having and gabi doing his work taking down this tower at the top lane uh, let's see guys if Kuku there or here having a uh, blink of dagger so okay so now for, for Kuku guys this is the only hero that can catch this uh, weaver but if weaver guys build or purchase the Lincoln Spur item this is a very uh, tough for TNT to catch this weaver guys so no other heroes can catch this weaver aside aside uh, for the butt rider or aside cuckoo's butt rider so this is a very like um, dangerous situation for TNT or unfortunate situation for TNT here knowing this weaver guys actually uh, especially when this uh, weaver guys got his uh, core items so got his uh, sustain items to uh, sustain the fight so this is a very uh, like uh, very hard here to catch Alright, so now the score will be 16-13 guys and still TNC uh, have the 1k gold advantage, uh, a very slight advantage, so not enough to win this game or not enough to claim the uh, sure or the assurance to win this game, but still Gavi guys managed to, to claim the top 1 uh, in terms of network for this game, but there you go, 4 man smoke for TNC, trying to pick up a fight here, but let's see guys if, it, it seems that Navi only uh, notice that TNC already um, like I'm uh, missing uh, on the map uh, on the map here. So let's see, okay. So TNC here trying to find the right position, but see Misha guys already um, spotted the TNC, the whole four TNC heroes at the top lane here. So TNC need to be back. This is the not the right place to pick a fight. Alright, so still guys 16-13 will be the score in favor of Navi here. Uh, let's see also teams. Uh, okay, so the good, good news for TNC here. Teams having Blink Dagger now. So this is a good setup for TNC here. But still, or Navi guys managed to surprise TNC here. So it seems TNC lineup guys uh, don't have a time to prepare a fight. So teams here will uh, always be surprised. Because Navi guys or Navi um, always... Um, the TNC here always got uh, off guard when Navi pick a fight, but there you go. Navi guys trying to take down the Russian here. TNC need to be need to contest this Russian fight if they want to win this fight, guys. All right, let's see. Okay, Gabby here trying to spot, but now Russian here having 50% of life. TNC needs to be careful here. All right, so it seems that the rest of the team of TNC is trying to take down, but now. Still Medusa, he'll claim the Ace of Immortality, Armel papping up the BKB here, but Medusa trying to right click. And now Chu will fall down first for the side of Navi, nice pickup kills for TNC here. And now Cuckoo running low, Cuckoo will use a Firefly here. So now TNC need to be careful, they need to be careful, TNC need to be careful here. But there you go, nice stun, a nice lasso for Cuckoo, they're pulling up that Medusa. The right target, but there's a stun, there's a swap for Misha here, saving that Medusa's life. Nice try for Cuckoo pulling that Medusa guys, but I think that is not an easy kill 
for a team see taking down that tanky medusa especially with a mana shield on him so this is but good pick for tnc uh, nice try the able to kill the earth spirit for the fight but still um what they need to find what they need to kill here is uh, one of the core heroes of navi if uh, if they will get the advantage for this game but for now uh, it seems that navi having advantage guys um carrying that ace of mortality carrying that uh i think uh, that, uh, that, uh, the cheese is, uh, they still have, don't have the cheese because that, that is the first Russian for uh, that fight. So, okay, so Navi now need to find out how they will use that Ace Immortality, how they can, um, that Ace Immortality can be useful in every fight. So, they need to pick a fight that they have the advantage. Oh, uh, yeah, but teams here will be spotted by Crystallize, but teams need to be careful. The team's running low HP right now, but there's a terror wave of terror will be connected to teams here. Now, three heroes. For the side now, okay, so it seems that teams will be sacrificed, and the rest of the teams here will be TP back, knowing that they cannot contest that fight. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. All right, so now we're now trying to take down here the second tower at the mid lane. And TNC planning to defend at the high ground. This is up. This is a good decision for TNC here. But it seems that Navi will not continue pushing at the high ground here. Unless they will go and farm again at the jungle here for the side of TNC. So still TNC here guys having 1k gold advantage but in terms of kills here now we have the 3 points uh, 17 14 here it will be the score for this game but Gabby here trying to farm trying to um have a space or finding a space here but for hero 5 heroes of team oh now we here is only at the bot lane taking down the second tower here Dyer's bottom tower has fallen Alright, so it seems that their uh, assist fire happening for this game seems TNC uh, still or trying to avoid fight for now, knowing that uh, the Ace of Immortality uh, has been uh, claimed here. So I think TNC guys, uh, what, what they're wa uh, they're waiting for uh, the Ace of Immortality to be expired. But there you go, Cuckoo will be caught here. It will be the silence, and it seems the rest of the team TNC will fall back here. EU with a support here. EU run kept. Still chasing Cursalize, chasing AU here, and Cursalize can easily take down this EU, EU guys here if once this Cursalize caught. There we go, three heroes of TNT in game is pretty good versus the five heroes of Navi here, and Armel Papping is big EB, and it seems AM that is a good kill for Navi here, taking down the Gabi hero guys and the Reaver. And there we go, Armel running low, A spin and a rolling board of two here will connect, and now Armel and Medusa will get the double kill. So the two important here of TNC will down within 60 seconds of the game. That is a good kill for Navi. They're picking that uh, big kill for side of TNC, especially the carry hero and the mid hero of TNC. That is like a disaster for the side of TNC. All right, so it seems that Navi planning to go a uh, high ground push here, but let's see, guys. Let's wait for teams here for the right timing for the Echo Slam. Okay, this is the big factor for TNC here, um, hitting this at uh, the right timing the Echo Slam of teams here. But let's see, yeah, okay. But Navi already, guys, know this or already know um, how to counter that initiation of um, Earthshaker of teams here. 
So they're trying. When we did trying to push in any tower, they're trying to um, not stick out, or they're trying to spread out, knowing that the this team's uh, in the session, guys, they need to be careful for for that echo slam of the teams here. So in terms of uh, in terms of uh, late game guys, I will go here for Navi this is because they have the heroes guys that have a big factor in uh, in late game. So especially this Medusa, especially this Weaver. Uh, Kirk me if I'm wrong. This Weaver is crystallized guys. Once it uh, once he will get this his item, especially the BKB now. So it's up. So he have the Lincoln Spear. So this is a very hard for TNC catching this Weaver hero. So I, I think TNC now. Um, yes. Dyer's bottom okay, yeah, this is this is a very attack. tough time for TNC here, catching this Weaver hero, guys. So uh, let, let's see how TNC can manage uh, to win a fight or to win every fight with uh, this Weaver having now uh, like a very slippery uh, item for now, especially with his security and especially he is having Lincoln right now so how TNC can catch this Weaver that is the question for TNC that need to answer that need to find but here Gavi trying to farm and uh, at the other side of the map here or in the side of the jungle of Navi here okay so it seems that Navi will claim the barracks here in the mid lane during the fortification how will TNC will defend this one guys okay team's trying Trying to find here the right timing for his Echo Slam. Let's see, our mill hit tanking, but there we go, Cuckoo. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. Also magical here, having now the Lincoln Spear. Oh, okay. Even though Navi here did not engage, or even though uh, the Ace of Mortality already expired uh, on Navi, or the side of Navi here, but they still managed to push the barracks here, the Baltic, and even maybe here. At the mid lane, but there you go. There's the catch. Okay, there's the Lincoln pop up here. So Armel need to fall down, guys. I need to fall back. Armel having low eight, but there you go. The jump in by Gabby with the BKB bit, but but Gabby taking enough damage from Magical here. But Nagabi need to fall back or force to fall back, knowing that he cannot contest the damage of Medusa hitting on him. But there you go, Kuku with the spam, but Kuku will be catch him in the low ground. But nice force up for Kuku, and Kuku will be safe for now. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Yeah, this is uh like uh, okay. So it seems as Navi having now like a big advantage, even though um the the, the push strat here, even though that uh, Navi still uh, don't commit any like a JG push for now. But we can we can uh, see right now that the Navi have. The big advantage as we can see it seems that the TNC cannot contest any five on five or five versus five uh, class here for this game so I guess we will have a game three for this match uh, let's see but um teens are having two problems this Medusa and this Weaver as well okay, so that is the big problem of TNC here how they can kill this Medusa how they can kill this Weaver crystallize All right, Misha here in Crystallize, spatting up the four or five heroes. So there you go, the blink Crystallize easily, but there's the vacuum, but there's no wall, guys. There you go, Medusa popping his big, popping his big EB and his ultimate skill now. Razor will rounding low, and now Armel will fall down first from the side. And Gabby here cannot take down two here, guys. So look at that, two heroes of TNC will fall down, and Armel will easily use his buy back and nice kill for. Her. So three heroes of TNC will fall down, but they will use the quick buyback for this engagement to have. A, this is the second round for the class. Still, Gabby Hyde crying or claiming the right position now, blinking in, taking down the mission now. Armel with the top, but there you go, the echo slam of Tim's here, but not enough to take down the heroes of Navi here. Now two heroes of TNC and Gabby will be fall down as well, and Google managing to get at away from the fat, but the crystallize will spat him. But nice blink for Cuckoo here. So two heroes. Or three heroes for TNC. I think that this five heroes of TNC um, has been dead for that fight, but uh, they easily or they quickly uh, used the buyback. But it seems Nambi guys 
will go and claim the mega creeps for this game. So even teams here, even teams here already use his echo slam, but not enough to take down the lineup of Navi. So this is a good pick for Navi, guys. And now, so GG has been called. So TNC or Navi will claim the game to win here. So we will having or we will have the game through game three here.